guys welcome back to another episode with lady d it's your girl jim shoots liz and yeah i miss you guys so much i feel like i've been doing this youtube thing for years and just being away for this short period of time sucks to all my returning subscribers thank you for the love and for the support i love you guys so much and if you are new here if it's your first time of seeing this face you're highly welcome and please don't forget to subscribe before leaving guys i've been really busy with business that's why i've not been able to shoot a video given that the business i do stresses me a lot like there are days that i program to shoot a video and then i'm like zilis you cannot handle everything at once you cannot gather everything at once do one thing at a time so given that business is what brings money <laughs> i prioritize my business first but then i hope things will get better that i will fully be into youtube but for now it's once in a while i miss you guys so much though mm -hmm. and i'm happy to be here <laughs> so guys something is happening to me today i am shooting in front of the door like <laughs> everybody passing around is looking at me that's why i'm laughing i'm shooting in front of the door why my previous videos i've had some complaints about the lightning and given that my house is surrounded everywhere the windows and stuff the lightning it's really poor it's not easy for the sun light to get in i've been using a ring light in my previous videos but it still has not been good so today i decided to do something new and i'm sitting in front of the door to shoot this video i hope you guys enjoy it i hope it's better because i kind of like the result i'm getting so today we are going to talk about some lessons that life has taught me you know this life is very funny and i always say in every thing in everything that happens in this life be it positive or negative there is a lesson to pick out of it there is a lesson that we get to learn out of get to learn from it there's a lesson to pick out of it so from my own little experience i will share with you guys some lessons that life has taught me there is an opportunity in every single strategy no matter what you find yourself in no matter the problem no matter the situation no matter the struggle there is an opportunity in that struggle there is an opportunity in that strategy it's all left on you to pick out that opportunity and make good use of it. There's this common saying that we often hear, there is light at the end of every tunnel. If you don't get into a tunnel, you will not know that there is light at the end of it. If you don't find yourself in a problem, if you don't find yourself in a difficult situation, you will not know that there is light at the end of that situation. And for you to experience that light, you need to stand back on your feet and walk your way out of that tunnel. But if you decide to sit and lament and do nothing about the situation, you will not experience the light. You will not have that light. So the choice is yours. They will see even if your legs have been cut off, struggle, do everything possible. Even if it's for you to creep, creep your way out of that tunnel and experience the light. So the choice is yours. Yes, there is light. But then how do you experience the light if you don't force your way out? If you decide to sit and lament and cry and complain. But when you take the decision, when you choose to walk yourself out of that tunnel, I bet you there is light. And that light it's an everlasting light. It's that light that comes with so much joy, so much relief, so much peace of mind, so much fulfillment. What goes around comes around. Yeah, life has taught me that whatever thing you do, know that it will come back to you. Be it good, be it bad. Whatever thing you do in this life, so whosoever know that it will come back to you it might not come the next minute or the next second maybe after some years when you're forgotten about it it will still return back to you so whatever you do to people be ready to receive it if you do good know that in 10 years time there's a reward for that good thing that you did if you do bad know that even if it's in 20 years or 10 or 15 years that bad thing will come back to you maybe not the same bad thing you did to someone but 
something will still happen to you and you would not understand why but it's because of something you did in the years before something you did to someone somewhere maybe it's because of the way you impacted someone's life somewhere maybe because of the positive impact you gave in or the negative ones but whatever you do in this life will come back to you what goes around comes around so be careful with the things you do out there because it will come back in one way or the other it might not necessarily come in the same form like i will not come and give you maybe a parcel today and tomorrow it's a parcel that will come back to me but something good would happen to me just because of that good deed that i gave out so whatever thing you do there's this popular saying that we have do unto others what you would like them to do to you so whatever thing you do out there just know that in one way or the other it will come back to you there is a season and time for everything that's the toughest lesson that i have ever learned in this life you know while growing we have this perfect image of where we want to be in the next five years in the next 10 years we have our life all planned in our minds in our heads like we are the masterpieces as if we are the ones building every step we are the ones we are the masterpiece of life we have crafted our life in such a way that we want to see it it's but normal to have objectives to have a uh, to have projects to have a plan to have a focus yes but don't forget that god has a final say and god has a way of doing his things that no human being can understand so there is a time and a season for everything you will plan that in the next five years i should be married in the next five years i should be i should have achieved something in life i should be here i should be there that's your own plan we get frustrated we get depressed we get into trouble because when we do all those planning we expect it to happen the way it is and when it doesn't happen that way we cry over it we get frustrated we lament and we forget that God has a final say, like his plans and his ways are not the ways of man. And he has, he knows best. We always say God's time is the best. There is time and season for everything. A time to cry, a time to be happy, a time to dance, a time to sing. There is time for everything in this life. So no matter your plans no matter your projects if they don't happen the way you planned in you planned it or the way you wanted it to happen just know that in a subsequent time or in the nearest future they would happen or things will happen life has taught me to be prayerful always like praying has been a lifestyle for me i pray at every given moment every given opportunity i do even create i create every opportunity to pray like 24 7 i pray prayer doesn't praying doesn't necessarily mean you have to sit and do hours of prayer cast demons up and down lord i am grateful for the things you have done in my life that's enough for me that's a prayer if i am stepping out of my house and i reach i like father direct my path take me to where I'm going to and I get at the roadside and I want to get a bike I'm like Lord drive me safe that's just I pray like every single opportunity every single moment that I have to pray I pray like life has taught me that not letting God go holding him tight not letting not letting my hands slide off his hand like Tom Pierre Mon Pierre I'm not leaving you I'm not letting you go that is me like my whole being now it's prayers holding on to god and knowing that even when he's silent he's working something for your good even when you think like he has abandoned you even when you think like nothing is working for your good just know that god is behind us working something for you just be patient put yourself into prayers i don't joke with my prayers I don't joke i have made prayer my lifestyle like everything i do there's worship everything i do there's praise everything i do there's thanksgiving there's gratitude in it so that is what life has 
taught me to cling on to God, to know that he's there for me, to know that his word says he's never going to leave me and he's never going to forsake me. So I am never letting him go. Like I am holding him tight. C'est son pied mon pied jusqu'à la gare. We are not letting God go. So life has taught me to be prayerful always in every situation to give thanks, to glorify God, and yeah, I'm happy doing it because there's this relief and this peace of mind knowing that there is someone that watches over you 24-7, that there's someone that has your back 24-7. I bet you there's peace of mind. You will always need people to grow. As in, no man is an island. No matter who you are in the society, no matter your rank, no matter your position, no matter your level of education, no matter who you are in this society, you will always need people to grow. You will always need people around you. No man is an island. Like, you cannot do on your own. I am a businesswoman. I need people to purchase my products. If I have my products and there are no people, how will the products go out how will i send out my products i need people for my products to move out you are a medical personnel you need patients you need people to come and consult you need people around for one thing or the other even the president needs us the citizens to rule the country so no man is an island we need people there was a time where i felt like Delis, you're strong enough. You can do this on your own. You don't need people. You are like this. You're that. And <laughs> life made me to realize that no man is an island. I, you always need people. You always need people around you. Even if it's just to make you smile. Even if it's when you're crying. You just need someone to like, baby, you'll be fine. To so just tap you on the back and say you'll be fine. And that's all. You might be going through troubles. You just need someone to talk to and feel relief so no man is an island we'll always be ready to take a new start like this life is a journey we are all going somewhere and throughout your journey you meet challenges you meet difficulties you meet things and strategies and stuff like that at one point you get lost what do you do if you can go back to the starting point from zero if you can return and start everything from zero i bet you enjoy the journey if you decide to force your way out or force your way through and there's no way and you keep forcing and forcing you find yourself turning around the same position the same circle nothing coming out of it life has taught me to start from afresh like to pick up every broken pieces mend them and bring out something beautiful out of it so if you find yourself in a situation where you are lost go back to point zero start back afresh and from there you'll be able to figure out where you missed out the things you did wrong that you could have done the other way you'll be able to figure out the solutions you'll be able to have the solutions to all the struggles to all the challenges you had faced in your previous journey so it's never a problem to start back you will never regret starting back but you will regret never giving yourself that opportunity to start from zero so no matter what no matter who, in every situation you find yourself if it's for you to return back to point zero don't be ashamed. Don't feel a type. Don't feel bad. Because returning back to point zero, it's figuring everything out from afresh. It's last but not the least. Life has taught me to love myself like no other person. If you cannot love yourself, you cannot give out love. If you cannot appreciate yourself, you cannot appreciate your neighbor. The Bible says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Meaning, if you don't love yourself, you cannot love your neighbor. So, self-love is one of the most important things you should carry along. Like, confidence, courage. Because when you love yourself, you have enough courage, you're confident. You know that, <laughs> I... 
I love myself so much. I encourage myself. I talk to myself like every single day, at least you're doing this right because I am in a place where I barely have time to interact with people for the moment. Mm. So all I do is I talk to myself very often. Very often. Oh, Zilis, this thing you did, I love it. Zilis, this your outfit is nice. Come and see me appreciating myself. It's like I'm talking to someone else. Zilis, I love this your shoe, man. Your shoe is really nice. You really bought something nice today. I appreciate myself. I talk to myself. I encourage myself. Like, you did this the wrong way, but you, you should have done this. Or if you did it the other way, it would have been better. Next time, try to do it the other way. I talk to myself. I appreciate myself. Like, I am my number one fan. I love myself so freaking much that if I, the love I'm giving out is just a reflection of how I love myself. If you don't love yourself, if you don't have that self-love, you cannot be able to give love out. If your life, if your your life is full of negativity, you will never be able to reflect positivity. So love, self-love should be one of the vital and most important things in your life. Love yourself first. You cannot pretend to love someone if you don't love yourself. You will not be able to appreciate someone if you cannot appreciate yourself. Appreciate myself more. Given that I've been used to appreciating myself and loving myself so much that if you don't love me or you love me, I don't care. If you appreciate me or don't appreciate me, if you encourage me or not, I don't care because I am my number one fan. I do that for myself and I am so proud of that and I'm so happy to do that. I bet you, if you do that every day, these things that we have every day, like people throwing slangs and insulting us every day, you will never need to get angry about that. Like you get used to, someone say, look at your big eyes. I know I have <laughs> fat eyes and I'm like, yeah, those eyes are really pretty. I love the eyes. So self-love should be one of the most important things you have to offer yourself. If you cannot love yourself, you cannot give out love. So guys, we've come to the end of the video and I hope this video has really blessed someone. Please don't forget to share your opinion or some lessons life has taught you on the comment section. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to click on the notification button so that each time that I bring out a new video, you'll be notified. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.